Hey, it's Ramsey Dewey over here in Shanghai, China. I think I said that already, but our first question for Q&A with the coach comes from the 100th attempt who says, uh, he asked me to dispel the myth of palms striking the nose and pushing the bones into the brain. This is something I get asked about a lot, even to this day. You'd think it was, it would be one of those myths that would die. But a lot of people, when they find out what the rules of the UFC are, they get very concerned and they're like, well, well, wait a minute, it's legal to palm strike the nose? Can't you kill somebody doing that? And I've heard some, some otherwise very intelligent people ask me this question. And it stems from a basic misunderstanding of human anatomy. No, you can't palm strike the nose and push the nasal bones into the brain. It doesn't work that way. That's not the way the skull is connected. If you palm strike the nose so hard that it shatters the nasal bones, well, you're going to have a broken nose. <sighs> Every fight ever that allows fighters to punch each other in the nose, boxing, kickboxing, MMA, Muay Thai, Sunda, all of the ring sports, which have been going on for a very long time, have fighters being hit in the nose and hit at this upward 45 degree angle. You know what an uppercut is? Bah, right? If a palm strike were enough to push the nose into the brain and kill somebody, then certainly the best punchers on planet Earth would be able to do that with their best punches. But so far it hasn't happened. Yeah, you can kill people by fighting them. But that is not one of the ways we do it. Next.